Hey YouTubers, Ryder Brain here, and today I'm doing another accessible video, also the, uh, showing you the information, so even if you don't use an accessibility program, you can still follow along and get some good information. Today we're going to be talking about WinAudit. Now WinAudit is a program that is going to uh, tell you information about your computer. It's going to audit your Windows. I am doing this on Windows 7 right now. I did try it in Windows XP um, with JAWS 9, and it works fine. So I'm gonna I downloaded it and the link is in the description below. Um, if you can't get to the link, just Google Win Audit W I N A U D I T no spaces and it should be the first link you get back. This is not a program you install. You simply download and run it. So I've downloaded it and extracted it and we'll go to that program now. Let me go desktop. Windows D for my desktop. Win All right, and let's select it. Win Audit Items View Multi Select List Box Win Audit. And we're going to enter on that. Win audit freeware v2.29. All right, now we're going to do some options before we run it. So we're going to go to menu, audit control n, a, uh, select all control toolbar checked t. We're going to go alt v. Leaving menus, menu, toolbar checked t. And O for options. Leaving menus. Win audit freeware v2.29 dialog e g. Xib HTML system overview checkbox checked. All right, now this has a lot of checkboxes, and it's what information you want in your audit. It's not going to change, going to hurt anything, but there are some things that I don't want. Um, I do want system overview. That was the first thing. We're going to go down to the next thing. Installed software checkbox checked. Now I have a lot of software, and I know what it is, so I don't need it printed out. Um, well, it's not printed, but saved several pages that I'm going to have to go through. So I'm going to uncheck that with the space bar. Not checked. Operating system checkbox checked. Um, I'd like my operating system information. That's something you should keep checked. Peripherals checkbox checked. If you want to know what peripherals you have, that means, um, printers, um, mice, keyboards, things, keep that checked. Security checkbox checked. I don't need to know about my security. I know about my not security. Checked. Groups and users checkbox checked. I don't need to know about groups and users. Again, if you do, keep it checked. Not scheduled tasks checkbox checked. I don't need scheduled tasks. Not checked. Uptime statistics checkbox checked. Uptime statistics, I'll keep that. Error logs checkbox checked. And error logs are good. Environment variables checkbox checked. I don't need environment Not variables. Checked. Regional settings checkbox checked. Yeah, I'll leave regional settings. Windows and network checkbox checked. And I'll leave the network. Network TCP IP checkbox checked. I'll keep that. Network BIOS checkbox checked. And that. Hardware devices checkbox checked. I don't need hardware devices. Not checked. Displays checkbox checked. I'll keep displays to see what I have. Display adapters checkbox checked. As well as that. Installed printers checkbox checked. I don't really need that. Not checked. BIOS version checkbox checked. BIOS version is something good to keep in case you ever needed to get into the BIOS. You need to know what your BIOS version is and things like that. Um, looking up your BIOS version can tell you how to get into safe mode. System management checkbox checked. Don't need that. Not Processors checkbox checked. I like to know my processors. Memory checkbox checked. As well as my memory. Physical disks checkbox checked. Physical disks. Drives checkbox checked. And my drives. Communication ports checkbox checked. I'll leave the communication program. Startup ports, programs I'm sorry. checkbox checked. I don't need startup programs. Not checked. And again, this isn't uninstalling anything from your computer. This is just telling you what it is. And I, I know what my startup programs are. Services checkbox checked. I don't need to see the services. Again, I know what they are. Not Running programs checkbox checked. I don't need another running programs. Now, if your computer is really slow and you can't figure out why, leave that checkbox checked and see what programs are running. Uh, perhaps there's something you don't need running all the time. Not checked. Odd information checkbox checked. That actually doesn't say odd information. It says ODPC information. And I'm going to uncheck that. Not checked. Software metering checkbox not checked. Okay, I'm going to leave that the way it is. User login statistics checkbox not checked. I'm going to leave that. Loaded modules checkbox not checked. I'll leave that as well. System files checkbox not checked. Non-Windows executables checkbox not checked. Find files checkbox not checked. Okay, now this find files, if you check the checkbox and uh, you... Find files checkbox, non-button. E, non-button. Yeah, let me get back e. up there. Find file, check. If I check that, then I can tab once. Edit. And I can type uh, like uh, zip and it will find all of the zip files. Uh, if you have more files, you just put a space between them. But I don't need it to find anything Blank. on my computer. So I'm going to find file not check checked. That. Now I'm going to tab to apply. Not button. All button. Cancel button. Apply button. Press my spacebar. 
And so now I'm going to run it. I'm going to go to Alt F. Menu. Audit Control N. A. And I'm going to press Enter. Or you could do Control N. Leaving menus. Win Audit Freeware V2.29. Now, this is running. Um, there's no way to tell what it's doing through JAWS. Uh, if you're using it visually, you see in the bottom left corner that it's doing something. There's no way to tell when it's finished uh, except for going to Alt F. Menu. Audit Control N. A. If Audit Control is there, then uh, it's finished. So now we're going to save it because viewing it in this uh, system it won't allow it won't allow us with the screen reader so we're going to save what it has done save control s s and i'm going to enter on that menus save document dialog file name edit combo operating system microsoft windows so Seven i'm going to call Zero this one. name um, my audit my uh, may audit and then i'm going to tab save as type combo box you need to Web change save as type to text delimited. So down arrow to text delimited. Web page HTML only. I'm sorry, HTML. Up, up arrow to text delimited. Text Unicode. Text tab delimited. TXT. Okay. We're going to enter on that. Save as type. Combo box. And I'm just going to go save it in my desktop, so I need to tab around until I get there. To a bar hide folders button. Save button. Cancel button. To a bar desk. Search box. Explorer pane. Command module to a bar. Tree view, tree view. Level 1. Level zero. Desktop opened. Desktop. And Library right. pane. Tab to save. Button. Shell. File name. Save as type. To a bar hot. Save button. Alt plus And S. press enter. May audit. All right. Now I'm going to alt F4 out of this program. Win audit. Items view multi-select list box. Win audit. Ex All right. And now we're going to go take a look at that file. Desktop. Folder view list view. Okay, so now we go back to our desktop and we find that May Audit that we uh, just saved. Mean crap. My last map May Win Audit. TXT. Okay, and we enter on that. May Win Audit. TXT Notepad. Edit. And I'm going to do menu. Maximize menu. this. Re leaving menus. Edit. Okay, and obviously I've changed some things in here, like my serial numbers and things like that. Things people don't need, my MAC address, things like that. Um, but I'm just going to show you basically what this does. And we're going to down arrow to go through this. And you got to down arrow the long way to get to the blank, first thing. Blank, blank, computer audit, 5, 1, 2013, 1, 28 and 9 seconds p.m. All right. Blank, blank, system overview. System overview, this is the first one we checked, if you remember. Blank, blank, item value. Okay, this is item value. This was originally in a table. So the first thing you read will be the item. The second thing is a value. For instance, computer name, correct. Okay, computer name is the item and the value is Cherry PC. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go through everything here, but just show you kind of the stuff you get. Domain name workgroup. Site name. Roles workstation. Server. Description. Operating system Microsoft Windows 7 Home Premium 64 bit. Okay, so I have Windows 7 64 bit. Manufacturer Samsung Electronics Company Limited. Um, Alright, so my computer is a Samsung. Model R430, R480, R440. And that's the model number if I need to look up anything. Serial number ZZZ. Okay, that's what I changed. It did have a serial number. So if you're having problems with your computer, you need the serial number for warranty help or to look it up, uh, what drivers it should have, things like that. You can get that serial number in here. Asset tag, no asset tag. If you have a Dell computer, you may have an asset tag. That would give you more information. Number of processors, one. This is confusing because I have two processors. Processor description Intel R Core TM i3 CPU and 330 2.13 GHz. Okay, let's listen to that again. Processor description Intel R Core TM i3 CPU and 330 2.13 GHz. All right, I have an Intel Core i3, a CPU M330 at 2.13 gigahertz. Total memory 8,000 megabytes. Okay, so this is going to give you in megabytes, so I have eight gigs of memory. Total hard drive 466 gigabytes. 466 Display monitor. gigabytes. Inf monitor. BIOS version 6640000 Phoenix Secure Core TM and B version 03 use M008. Point. So this is the information about your BIOS when I said you needed that earlier uh, to look up to look up how to get into safe mode or things like that. That'll help you out. User account Cherry Butterfly. And that's just the user. I don't know. My computer is a uh, black cherry color, so I called it Cherry Butterfly. I'm crazy. 
System uptime zero days, one hours, 54 minutes. That's how long my computer has been on. This is a laptop, so I turn it off at night. My desktop may be up for days. Local time two, zero, one, three, zero, five, zero, one, thirteen, twenty-seven, and fifty-nine seconds. Blah, blah, blah. You have to go a long way to get to blank, the next item. Blank, operating system. Blank, blank, name value. Name seven. Okay, so the name is seven. Windows 7. Addition home premium 64 bit. So I have home premium 64 bit. Uh, that would tell you whether it's home or whatever. Installed date 6, 30, 2010. It was installed in 2010. Registered owner Terry Butterfly. That would be me. Registered organization. Product, major version, minor version, build number, service pack, service pack 1. Service pack version 1.0 plus version number. The service pack would be important, especially if you're running XP. Make sure you have service pack 3 installed in XP. I don't know what 7 goes up to. I thought there was something higher than 1, but maybe I don't have it. Direct X version. Windows. System. Directory C. Temporary directory. Operating system. Lap, number of bit 64. Blank. 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 So you get the picture. You keep going down, you get more information about your computer information. That can be very valuable. Store this someplace. And um, I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Please rate and subscribe.